Good evening. Hello, guys. Hello, good evening, Geraldine. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, David. Good evening, Milagro. Good evening, Miss. Hey, how was your day? My day was great. Wow, that's good. <laughs> okay, let me share with you the class presentation for this evening. We are going to continue with giving a message with tell and ask. In a moment, you will see the presentation. Mm -hmm. I think you can see it right now. Okay. The lesson objective for this class is, um, Milena, would you like to read the lesson objective, please? Yes. Okay, lesson objective. The verbs, can, the verbs tell and ask will be introduced in a conversation between two people talking on the phone. By the end of this session, you will be able to talk and give a message using tell and ask. Yes. So as you we started learning about this yesterday, and we're going to continue. But first, we're going to have a review of previous knowledge. You will practice and learn some vocabulary. Then we're going to have more practice with ask and tell to give a message and the wrap up. So to start with the uh, refresh of previous knowledge, we have here uh, a chart divided in three columns. We have nouns, verbs, and adjectives. And you can see here on one side, different words. For example, run, box, red, clean, chicken, right, happy, all, tree, sad, mouse, fly, new, silly, laugh, car, pencil, push, fork, lost, stand, bold, tall, and smile. You are going to classify the words into the correct category. You are going to tell me where each word belongs to. For example, the first word is run. So tell me, run, is it a noun, a verb? Uh, it's a verb. Right in here, run. What about box? Noun. No. Box is a noun. It can be singular or plural, right? Box or boxes. Okay, what about red? The adjective. Red is an adjective. Thing. Bell. It's verb. Chicken? No. no. Right? Bird. Adjectives. Right. I know. Right, yes, bird. It's a verb. In the number two, the nouns. Now is a chicken. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, you cannot. Okay. Now I'm going to. No. Okay, I want to leave it there later. <laughs> no, no. Chicken. Okay, what about happy? Verb. Happy. An adjective is an adjective. Happy is an adjective. All adjective. Three. Mm. 
Não. Lemon tree, mango tree, apple tree, coconut tree. Sound. Adjective. Mouth. Mm. I have a small adjective. E mouth. Mouth. No. It's a noun. Like. Bird. A new. Adjective. It's an adjective. Yeah, that's good. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, silly. It's an adjective too. It's an adjective too. La. No. No. It's a verb. It's a verb. 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 La. Ha 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 ha. La. Uh, yeah. Okay, car? No. No. Pencil? No. 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 Push? No. It's a uh, um. Fork. Fork. No. It's a noun. Yeah. No. Fork is a noun. Yeah. It's what we use when we eat, we use the fork to eat. Uh, lost? There. There. No. The verb is loose. Is an adjective? Yes, lost, perdido, lost. A stand? Bear. Bear. A bear. Bear. Ball? No. 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 Tall? Adjective. Adjective. And a smile? Objective. Bear. 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 And also could be a noun. Smile. Very good. So how was this exercise? Was it easy or more or less difficult? It was uh, lost uh, because it's the, it's the past there, the bird lost. And I just confused. Loss is the past of the bird loose. Bad X also. Loss is an adjective. Uh -huh. For something you you forgot or you lost. <laughs> Perdido. A lost person or a lost object. Okay. Very good. Now, in the next exercise, we are going to learn some vocabulary for geography. So I'm going to share this screen. Let me go over here. Okay, so you will look at the pictures and write the names under the correct picture. Okay. Farm. Farm, very good. Next. Field. 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 Very good. Forest. 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 Lake. 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 Mountain. Mountain. Mountain, very good pronunciation. Mountain. River. No, it's not a river. The next one, River. Yeah. 
plate. This is no water. Yes, we did. Ah, oh, pass, pass, pass. It's a pass. 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 And then. Driver. Driver. Town. A town. Village. 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 And finally. Waterfall. Waterfall. Okay, now we're going to read and choose the correct words and write them on the line. For example, a place with cows. Is it a farm or a field? Farm. Farm. A place with boats? With boats? River. Uh, river. Okay, a place with a lot of trees. For forest. A place for walking or cycling. Pa. The uh. park. A big place with a lot of houses. Uh. A place for swimming. Lake. 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 A high place for climbing or walking. Mountain. 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 A place with water. Waterfall. Waterfall. A place for planting rice and other crops. Field. A small place with some houses. Village. Village. Yes. Very good. Thank you so much for your participation. And now let's go over the topic that we started yesterday, which was given a message with tell and ask. Uh, what is the difference between tell and ask? Do you remember the difference? One difference is that tell is used for a statement and ask is used for request. We tell I use that, it's optional, but you can use that. And with ask, you have to use to plus the base form of the verb. You use infinity form. And to be formal or polite, we use would or could. And less formal is using tell, right? Or just ask. We can use please. Please tell him or please ask her. So it goes from informal to formal. Let's practice. Let's use tell or ask. So what do you think is the best option? Could you tell? Okay. Could you? Could you tell Anna to uh, call Elsa? Okay, number two. Ask. 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 Very nice. Please ask Carmen to write an article. Tell. Number three. Tell. Would you tell? Would you tell her I thought the dinner was delicious? Okay, number four. Would you ask? Uh, mm -hmm. Tell. 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 Mm -hmm. It's tell because it says, would you tell your friend that the big league is going to be tomorrow? Okay, number five, please. Ask. Tell. 
-hmm. Please tell the teacher, I don't understand the question, or please tell the teacher that I don't understand the question. Okay, number six. Ask. Could you ask? Very nice. Would you ask my mom to let me go to the concert? Mm -hmm. It's like, could you ask my mom for permission, right? To let me go to the concert? Okay, number seven, please. Tell. Tell. Tell the neighbors that we're having a meeting on Thursday. And number eight, please. Ask. Mm, it's using that, please. Uh, tell, 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 tell. Oops. Tell. Please. Oh, sorry. Um, please tell him that I want to travel soon. I just want to make a correction in number one. Is ask. Could you ask? Anna, to call Elsa, because it's using two. Okay, so number one is ask. Could you ask Anna to call Elsa? Great, great job. We have more exercises in the next slide. Teacher, tiene que ver también mucho el contexto. Yes. But in these exercises, previous exercises, the key is if what we studied. The key is, in this case, is using two, two, two. Those ones are uh, with us. Could you ask Anna to call Elsa? Please ask Carmen to write an article. Could you ask my mom to let me go to the concert? And the others are tell, would you tell her I thought? Would you tell your friend that? Please tell the teacher that. If that is like here, but it's not there. It's like optional to use it, but we can use it. Please tell the teacher, I don't understand the question. Please tell the teacher that I don't understand the question. Please tell the neighbors, that we are having a meeting on Thursday, but it's telling him that I want to travel. That that is the difference, and that is how you can identify if you have to use ask or tell. Now we have to unscramble uh, the words to make the sentence and add the correct punctuation. A statement you use a period, and for a question you use a question mark at the end. You can use the chat, sorry, you can use the chat to unscramble these sentences. Please do it in the chat. And I will go for my coffee because I couldn't. I wanna go for my coffee, okay, to the kitchen. So let's work on this. Do it in the, write all of them in the chat, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. And when you finish, you send the message. Thank 
Um, while you do this, I'm going to take the attendance, okay? Please say present or here. Aleida Samira Guadalupe. Aleida Samira. Ana Beatriz Martínez. Hello, teacher. Okay, Andrea Esther. Andrea Esther Acosta. Brandon Steven Gómez. Present teacher. Thank you, Brandon. Caleb Ariel Rivera Ávalos. Present. Efraín Emilio Acevedo. Ok, Emilio. Geraldine Lisa Díaz. Present teacher. Thank you, Geraldine. Thank you. Evel Virginia. Evel Virginia. Present teacher. Thank you, Virginia. Ingrid Maricela Flores Ramirez. Present teacher. Okay, Ingrid. Irma Adriana Segura. Present teacher. Uh -huh. Jacqueline Vanessa García Sánchez. Thank you, Jacqueline. Jose Alejandro Vaquerano. Okay. Juan David Madrid Méndez. Meléndez. Meléndez, yeah. Juan José García Méndez. Here, teacher. Hey, Juan. Julio César Alfaro. Julio César Alfaro. Okay. Presente. Thank you, Kevin Josías Flores. Present. Thank you, Kevin. Lorena de Los Ángeles Benjibar. Lorena. Luis Ernesto Cibrián. Present teacher. Thank you, Luis. María José Navarro Benjibar. Mary Daniela Carranza. Ok, Daniela. Eh, Milagro de la Paz. Here I am. Great. Mirna Landos de Luna. Present teacher. Thank you, Mirna. Nelson Adán Cerón Medina. On the chat. Right. Patricia Esmeralda García Funes. Present teacher. Thank you, Patricia. Sandra Elizabeth Asensio. Present teacher. Thank you, Sandra. Sandra Elizabeth Coreas. Present. Thank you, Sandra Coreas. Sandra Elizabeth Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Lisset Moza de Polanco. Present teacher. Thank you, Sandra. Sa Stephanie Abigail Quintanilla. I'm here. Okay. And Valeria del Carmen Alfaro. Present teacher. Thank you, Valeria. 
Okay. Let me see the percentage. Good. Thank you for attending the class. Did you finish the exercise? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, let's see what you wrote in the chat. In the first one, you wrote, could you tell them we don't have a space? Do we have a space? Please ask your grandmother to bake cookies for us. Would you ask me not, would you ask you not, call, not to call me, please? Ask Alexa to bring apple pie to the picnic. Could you tell Brenda? that the action is on Saturday. Hmm. Okay, let's check together. For the number one. Call you tell. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a question, a request, right? Could you tell them that we don't have the space? Tell them we don't have a space. Exactly. Could you tell them? Could you tell them we don't have space? Space. Next, please. To start with, please. Please ask. Please ask your grandmother. Mm -hmm. you, you grandmother? To bake cookies for us. Exactly. Please ask bake your grandmother to bake cookies for us. And number three. Would it start with wood? Would you ask him? Would not, you ask? Not would you call ask? me. Would you ask? Game. Uh -huh. Not to call me. Exactly. To call me. Would you ask him not to not. call me? <laughs> not to call me at midnight? <laughs> okay, number four. Please ask Alexa to bring up apple pie to the picnic. Ask Alexa to bring yeah delicious. I would like bring apple pie uh, to the picnic. I would like a piece of apple pie right now. I just have my coffee and I would like a piece. Oh, no. Jimmy, Jimmy. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I didn't I didn't drink coffee in the morning and in the afternoon. So it's like right now I need one. <laughs> A cup of coffee. And the last uh could you tell Brenda is the auction on Saturday? Exactly. Could you Could you tell Brenda that, well, it's not that bad. Yeah. Could you tell Brenda the auction is 
on Saturday. Would you tell Brenda the auction is on Saturday? Mm -hmm. Auction is these events in which people uh, want to sell some, some valuable things, like old things, maybe the belongings of a famous person. Uh, and they offer, they the people offer different a quantity of money, some people said one million dollars, one point five million dollars, two million dollars, three million dollars. That is the auction. Okay. Mm. Very good. Great. I can see that you can use tell and ask correctly. <laughs> now, guys, we're gonna have an a listening exercise. You are going to listen to four people leaving messages. You have to pay attention to who is the message from? I mean, who sends the message? Who is the message from? Who is it for? Who is going to receive the message? What is the message? And we have to complete the chart. So maybe you can copy in your notebook the one, two, three, four chart message from, message for, and what is the message? It won't be difficult, don't worry, then, Anna. <laughs> it's listening exercise. <laughs> yeah. Some people think that the listening part in the English exam is the, more, is the most difficult, but it depends, right? You need to... Um, your ears need to get accustomed to listen to different accents. Are you ready? Yes. Who are ready? Hmm. Okay, so let's listen. Page 104, exercise 11, listening. I'm going to be late. Listen to four people leaving messages. Who is the message from? Who is it for? What is the message? Complete the chart. One. Hi, John. Where are you? Class is starting soon. I know. I missed the bus, so I'm going to be late. But we're giving our class presentation today. Don't worry. Did you tell the teacher that I'm going to be late? We can do our presentation at the end of class. Okay, but hurry up. Two. Hi, Samantha. Hi, William. Martin asked me to call him today, but he's not answering his phone. Is he in the office? Yes, but he's in an important meeting. Oh. Well, when he's free, would you ask him to call me? Yes, of course. Thank you, William. Three. Hi, Ryan. Where are you? Hi, Amanda. We're on Main Street. We just passed the high school. The high school? Oh, you've gone too far. Sorry. Jennifer's never driven to your house before. No problem. Could you tell her to turn around and turn left on Summer Street? Okay, Amanda, no problem. See you soon. Four. Hi, Brittany. What's up? Hi, Brandon. I'm calling to see if you and Emily would like to come to our house for dinner tomorrow night. Thanks. I'd love to go, but Emily might be working late tomorrow. Well, when you see her, could you tell her that I invited you both? Sure. 
I hope we can come. I think that we are going to play the audio again, right? Remember, you have to listen to who sends the message, who is the message for, and what is the message. Page 104, exercise 11, listening. I'm going to be late. Listen to four people leaving messages. Who is the message from? Who is it for? What is the message? Complete the chart. One. Hi, John. Where are you? Class is starting soon. I know. I missed the bus, so I'm going to be late. But we're giving our class presentation today. Don't worry. Did you tell the teacher that I'm going to be late? We can do our presentation at the end of class. Okay, but hurry up. Two. Hi, Samantha. Hi, William. Martin asked me to call him today, but he's not answering his phone. Is he in the office? Yes, but he's in an important meeting. Oh, well, when he's free, would you ask him to call me? Yes, of course. Thank you, William. 3. Hi, Ryan. Where are you? Hi, Amanda. We're on Main Street. We just passed the high school. The high school? Oh, you've gone too far. Sorry. Jennifer's never driven to your house before. No problem. Could you tell her to turn around and turn left on Summer Street? Okay, Amanda. No problem. See you soon. 4. Hi, Brittany. What's up? Hi, Brandon. I'm calling to see if you and Emily would like to come to our house for dinner tomorrow night. Thanks. I'd love to go, but Emily might be working late tomorrow. Well, when you see her, could you tell her that I invited you both? Sure. I hope we can come. Do you have the answer? Okay, we can do it together, okay? So, in the first listening, the message is from... Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. John. Yeah. John. Mm. Oh, yeah. The message is from John. And who is the message for? He is the, the teacher. The teacher. And what is it's the message? It's for the teacher. Yeah. It's, the message is for the teacher. And what is the message? He will be late because he missed the bus. Okay. And that they can do the presentation at the end of the class. Okay, message, the second audio, the message is from? Samantha. And the message is for? William. Mark? For Mark, William, for Mark. Mark? Samantha is talking to William, and Samantha asked William to, to tell Mark uh -huh. what is the message that she wants for Mark? To call? To call her. To call her, yes to call her back because she's calling him, but he doesn't answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about number three? The message is from? Amanda. Amanda. From Amanda. Uh -huh. And it's for? Jennifer. Jennifer? Yeah, what is Jennifer doing at the moment? Hey, 
Okay, what is the message? Turn around. Turn around. Uh -huh. Turn around. Oh. And turn left on on Summer Street. Escribí tan rápido que no me entiendo qué escribí. <laughs> okay, and the last so. message is from Brittany. Brittany. From Britney Spears. Hey, just kidding. From Brittany. <laughs> and it's for Emily. 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 For Emily. And the message is. She invited both. She is inviting both of them, right? Emily and Brandon to come dinner tomorrow to, tomorrow to mm -hmm. very good so those are the messages and you could listen how they express would you like to listen one more time to check the information yes yes okay. i will try to to play the the script the audio script too so you can page 104 exercise 11 listening i'm going to be late sorry page 104 exercise 11 listening i'm going to be late listen to four people leaving messages who is the message from who is it for what is the message complete the chart one. Hi, John. Where are you? Class is starting soon. I know. I missed the bus, so I'm going to be late. But we're giving our class presentation today. Don't worry. Did you tell the teacher that I'm going to be late? We can do our presentation at the end of class. Okay, but hurry up. Two. Hi, Samantha. Hi, William. Martin asked me to call him today, but he's not answering his phone. Is he in the office? Yes, but he's in an important meeting. Oh, well, when he's free, would you ask him to call me? Yes, of course. Thank you, William. 3. Hi, Ryan. Where are you? Hi, Amanda. We're on Main Street. We just passed the high school. The high school? Oh, you've gone too far. Sorry, Jennifer's never driven to your house before. No problem. Could you tell her to turn around and turn left on Summer Street? Okay, Amanda, no problem. See you soon. 4. Hi, Brittany. What's up? Hi, Brandon. I'm calling to see if you and Emily would like to come to our house for dinner tomorrow night. Thanks. I'd love to go, but Emily might be working late tomorrow. Well, when you see her, could you tell her that I invited you both? Sure. I hope we can come. With the script. <laughs> and as you notice, I like the way they ask the questions. For example, in the first one, uh, would you tell the teacher that I'm going to be late? In the next one, would you ask him to call me? Number three, could you tell her to turn around and turn left on Summer Street? And the last one, would you like to come to our house? I'm oh, sorry, this is one. Could you tell her that I invited I invite you both. Okay. Very nice. That is that was the listen. It was not so difficult, Anna. Anyway. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> okay. Now guys, we're gonna it was do what difficult. <laughs> it was difficult. It was difficult. It was I have a problem with my listening. 
<laughs> okay, here I want you to pay attention to this, the useful expressions that you can use when you uh, talk on the phone. For example, when you call, you can say, may I speak to Sandra Asensio? May I speak to Ana Martinez? Can I leave a message? May I speak to, can I leave a message? Those, if you call. But if you answer the phone, you can say, sorry, but Sandra Asensio isn't here. Or sorry, but Ana Martinez, isn't here. Can I take a message for her? I'll give her the message, right? I'll give her the message. So these are useful expressions that you can use when you speak on the phone and you want to leave a message for another person. You can leave a message and the person who receives the call can take, can take a message. Now, guys, I want you to do the uh, one exercise and is writing a message to the teacher. Okay? So I am the teacher and you want to leave me a message. Okay? For example, you can ask your classmates to tell me something. For example, would you ask the teacher to send me to send me the present the class presentation, please? Or could you tell the teacher that I'm going to miss class? Because I don't know, you in dance. Or please tell the teacher that you can see them in the in the website in the chat group. So let's write a message, please, for me. Okay. Somebody wrote, could you tell the teacher that I can't stay in the class tomorrow? Or you can attend. Asistir a clase se dice attend. Attend class. Attend class es asistir a la clase. Perder la clase means class. Let's see the messages that you are sending. Could you ask the teacher to send me the audios? Okay. <laughs> and don't forget to write the question mark or the period. If you start with could you or would you, it's a question, so you need to use a period. Another one, could you ask the teacher to give us good grace? Always, please. <laughs> okay. I always give you a good grace. <laughs> Another one, could you tell the teacher to, could you tell the teacher that I will not be in the class? I think you wanted to say that, Sandra. Could you tell the teacher that I will not be in the class? Could you tell the teacher I'm going to be late for the test? 
Could you tell the teacher her class is great? Oh, <laughs> I hope that is not just an example. <laughs> Thank you. Could you tell my mother that I will be late tonight? Oh, where are you going, Virginia? <laughs> great examples. Continue. Yeah, I like that. Not only the teacher, but also your mother, your father. Could you tell that? that? I don't understand, Sandra. Could you tell the maybe you? you you couldn't write it well. Okay. We still have some minutes. More examples? Could you tell the teacher that I don't understand this class? <laughs> Is that true, Sandra? No, but I don't I don't think so because your example is great. <laughs> Could you tell the teacher that I'm going to do the exercises tomorrow? Mm, okay. Could you tell the teacher that I like her to smile? Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. Okay, so before we Finish. I want you to we want I want you to work on the one more exercise. It's online. It says, for example, we have to convert these messages. We have to use the correct punctuation, period or question mark. Message to Maria. This is the example. Message to Maria. I have a headache. Could you tell Maria that I have a headache? Number two, message to Jorge, read the newspaper. Would you, would you and we can use tell or ask. But here we have a verb. I say ask. Exactly. Would you ask Jorge read and what is next? Read the newspaper. Read the newspaper. Would you ask Jorge to read the newspaper? Okay, number four. Message to Juanita. Bring me the red dress. Please tell. Mm, but if we have a verb here, so uh, ask. Um, okay, please ask Juanita. Ask Juanita. Ask Juanita to, to, to bring, bring, me, bring me the red dress. The red. Exactly. Mm. Then we have the number five message to Kimberly. My favorite food is pizza. Would you would you tell tell Kimberly? Kimberly. My favorite food is pizza. My favorite. That, food is pizza. My favorite. Yeah, you can use that or not, right? My favorite food is pizza. Pizza? Pepperoni pizza. <laughs> hmm. Okay, message to a female, return my phone call, please. Ask. 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 The pronoun. The female. Ask. Ask her. Yeah, that's why right. Please ask her to return my phone. Return, to return my phone. My phone. my phone. Call. Mm -hmm. And number seven? Could you tell? Tell him? Mm -hmm. Could you tell him? Or could you, if we have a verb here, so it's not tell, it's ask. Could you ask him? Could you ask him? And this Don't is very tell. What Don't happens when you say 
When it's negative? Not. Uh huh. Um, Would you ask him? Not. 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 To, not uh -huh. to tell my secret. Not to tell my secret. Exactly. Could you ask him not to tell my secret, please? Hmm? Very nice. And we don't have more. <laughs> okay, so let's review. Uh, who would like to read the number two? Only the question. Or, mm -hmm. Number two? But like a question, really like a question. Who can read it? The first one? The number two. Ah, uh, the number two. Would you ask Jorge to read the newspaper? Thank you, Milagro. Number four, Sandra? La puede leer. Can you read it, please? Please ask Juanita to bring me the red dress. The red dress, yes. Number five, Anna? Could you tell Kimberly my favorite food is pizza? Very nice. Geraldine, number six. Ask her to return my phone call. And you forgot to say, please, please, please ask her. Please ask her for my phone cell. My phone call, yes. Valeria, number seven. Call you ask him not to tell my secret. My secret? Excellent. Very good. Okay, guys, we only have two more minutes. And in these two minutes, I would like you to tell me, what did you learn today? What did you learn in this class? What is one example? Which activity did you like? What do you need? What do you need to practice? I learned, yeah. How can I? Yeah. Ask and and tell a message. Uh, that way, formal and informal. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. When it's informal, you just say please tell or please ask. But to make it more formal, you have to use would you tell or would you ask or could you tell could you ask. Mm -hmm. What else did you learn? Give me one example or tell me what activity. Could you tell me uh, which activity did you like? Practice my listening. <laughs> you like um, the listening activity. <laughs> And about the adjectives? Oh, classifying, classifying the words, right? Classifying the words. Very good. Nice. Now I would like to ask you about your work in the platform. This week, you have to finish the, the section five and the final exam. So don't forget to do it. Maybe tomorrow you can work on it because uh, on Thursday, a person from English Corporativo is going to check it, okay, on Thursday morning. So you can work on it tomorrow. We don't have class, but but you can work on it. Like one hour, you can finish all the sections. Okay? Teacher, so, I'm grateful with you. <laughs> sorry? I'm grateful with you. Oh. For your, for teach me. <laughs> Thank you, Anna. It's a pleasure to teach students who are interested 
and learning. <laughs> okay, guys, I have to go. Have a good night. See you on Thursday. Bye. See you on Thursday. Bye.